Hola, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is something very glam, very sexy, dark, and very, just very, I say very a lot. Um, it's a double cut crease. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. I started by priming my eyes with the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. And I used my finger to blend it out. With the Lorac Pro 3 palette, I'm using the color Canvas to set my primer. Now going into the color Jet Black and a Real Techniques brow brush, I'm going to map out my cut crease. Since I do have like a little hooded eye situation going on, I go above my actual crease so it doesn't hide in the extra flappy skin I have in there. Now with a Morphe M169, I'm going to start blending out with no excess product, just whatever I applied, and then I start adding product out, or in, on, something like that. Now this does take a lot, a lot of patience, so... Just have to go back and forth. I'm cleaning that really pointy line I made with a Urban Decay brush from the Naked palette. It has nothing on it, I'm just going over it. Keep going in with that Morphe brush. Now using the pink nude color, I'm gonna blend out the edge. Using a e.l.f. blending eye brush. Keep on keep picking up more color and blend and blend and blend. Now I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean with that same brow brush I used earlier. I'm gonna make a wing and bring it in and start shaping that second cut crease. I'm going to fill in the whole outer V with this product to ensure it's very black. Now I keep referring to the other eye to make sure they're even. the first cut crease we made with the same NYX Jumbo Pencil. Now I'm using the 
the same black color from the palette and just going over that pencil I put there just to intensify and to kind of set it so it won't smudge and move around. This does take time to create but it looks beautiful so it's very well worth it. I'm gonna use uh, light pewter I think it's called and just go over my lid I'm gonna go back and forth with those two brushes until I get the desired blendage I want I have to go back and forth back and forth for a while Lighter foundation in the shade 4.0. Just dot it all over my face with my finger. And I'm talking to my son <laughs> as usual. And I'm just gonna buff that in with my Real Techniques sponge. I'm gonna mix two concealers. I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige and my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And I'm gonna buff it in with my fingers and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Not Beauty Blender, with the Blendy Sponge. <laughs> I'm setting my under eye with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm setting and baking at the same time. I'm carving out my cheekbones. And my forehead, <laughs> wrinkly forehead. I'm gonna use the black from the palette to go ahead and finish my under eye. And just smudge it on my lower lash line. Keep on blending and blending until you get like a really smoky under eye situation going on. I'm setting the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 220 with a Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and buff away my bakage with that same brush.
with this hidden light palette from Kat Von D, I'm going to use the middle contour shade to start adding some color to my face. This is going to be like the bronzer. I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just applying that all over my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my jawbone. Now I'm going to use my Becca face palette, it's a Jaclyn Hill one, and I'm going to use the middle blush. I forgot the name. I don't want nothing to pink or anything so I think that color is perfect. And I mixed both um, highlight colors. As usual I love to do that. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush to do that. I'm going to use the same shade for my, um, what is it called? My tear, um, uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> and I'm also going to do that, place a little bit of that product in between my cut creases. Just to make it shiny and pop out. And I'm covering my eyes with any palette or whatever you have just because I found that when I do my setting spray um, I have smudged my eyeshadow before so I just did this way especially with such a strong eye look. For mascara I'm using the that L'Oreal one just to apply product and then I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes wand just the wand to place it nice and pretty I like how the wand works but I have ran out of it and I have not bought a new one and apply my lower lash line for my lips I'm using NYX Suede um, and the color, I don't know the color, I will link it down below. 